Ask Mixing with Mike. So the question is, uh, what is the best mic for recording vocals? I get this question a lot, and uh, and my answer is always like something that really annoys people, which is whatever microphone works. <laughs> and uh, I always have found this to be funny because people want like a specific recommendation as if there's a single microphone that sounds great on everybody. And to me, a microphone for a vocalist is very much like a glove. So everybody's hand is shaped differently. So if you went in to um, to buy a pair of gloves, and you just you know you went to like a real you know a store where they have lots of gloves, like really high quality gloves, they would all have different shapes to them, and you would have to find the gloves. You would put on a pair that just really seemed to fit your hand well, the length of your fingers, how wide your hand is, how thin or narrow your fingers are, how wide they are, are they short and stubby, or are they long and narrow, right? I have, like, I have long, narrow fingers, right? So um, we find gloves that actually have to fit your hand, and it's the same thing with the microphone, because with a microphone, um, everybody's voice is different. So if you have a lot of richness and warmth and depth in your voice, but not a lot of definition, then you need a microphone that, that helps to bring out the definition of your voice. If you have a harsh, kind of bright voice that maybe like you sing a lot more from your head or your throat, so there's not a lot of body, then you need a microphone that will help to add or balance out the body that is missing from your voice. So I, I don't mind using dynamic mics quite a lot because when you get up close to a dynamic mic, it adds like a lot of warmth, especially like broadcast mics. And so if you have somebody with a real harsh voice, that will cut down on that harshness and bring on the warmth and the body into the microphone, which is really, really cool. Tube mics, and there's I see a question here about tube mics. Tube mics are important because um, a condenser mic, or tube mic is basically a condenser mic with um, a tube put, in, put into it so that it actually helps to add like a warming characteristic to the tube, which can, or to the, um, to the condenser diaphragm, which can sound a bit cold and a bit harsh. So um, condenser mics, like actually even like a U87, what makes a U87, which is a condenser mic, sound really good is it has a transformer in it, and that transformer adds a lot of warmth and body to the sound, which helps to cut it. So um, normally what people go to for microphones is a large diaphragm condenser, and the large diaphragm is important because it helps to um, bring out the low frequencies. Um, and and represent them more clearly and more accurately. Um, so the things that you want to be careful about is the distance from the microphone. And then um, if you're using a condenser microphone, is that going to be warm enough or is it going to be too cold and harsh? Don't confuse frequency response with warmth. So if you, if you were trying to pick the best vocal mic for somebody, set up as many vocal mics or mics that you have, whether you think they'll work or not, in front of them and have them sing a line, the same line, in front of each microphone. And and what you do is you record, you can record each one. So you can say, this is the you know AKG 414, and then they sing the line. This is an uh, Shure SM7, and then they sing the line. This is, you know, uh, uh, C37, sing the line. This is a U87, sing the line. And then you go back and then you can listen to each of them and one of them will just jump out of the speakers, right? You'll just listen to it. It's like, wow. And all of a sudden it sounded like the voice became three-dimensional and jumped out of the speakers. And that's the one that you take. So even if it's a, got, a, if it's got a little bit too much top, you, that's where an EQ helps you out. But if, if, the, if the presence and the, the focus and um, the imaging is right, that's how you select a microphone. And then the rest is just making little tweaking adjustments, you know, and then you can decide how you want to process it later. But there's my advice for picking the best vocal mic.